Welcome to a special edition of the Michael Artsis Show from New York City on Be Terrific. You are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special at Be Terrific TV on all social media. Of course, join our Slack chat for real-time conversation 24 hours a day. Us, you, and the rest of the Terrifics, and that is BeTerrific.com slash Slack. And send us your great feedback. Keep it coming. We love it so much. Connect at BeTerrific.com. It's old school. We're at the Hyatt, the Grand Hyatt in New York City for a very special edition. Noel Lee is joining us. First of all, Noel, thank you for joining us. Hey, Michael, thank you so much. Appreciate it's, it. It's great to have you on again. Um, I have to start by congratulating you. You were bestowed such a great honor this week. You were inducted into the CE, the Consumer Electronics Hall of Fame, for your wonderful work in consumer electronics and for your legendary career and what you've done. What does that mean to you? Well, first of all, it's very humbling because uh, most of the recipients uh, do like really big things with really big companies. And, uh, so I feel honored to be uh, even recognized by my peers for really what's a small company, you know, you, starting from the garage. And, do you, I mean, it's not a small company, it's a big company, everybody knows Monster. Yes. Um, do you still look at it as a small company because you started in the garage? Like, uh, people look at their kids and they say, you know, oh, he's always going to be my little boy, or she's always going to be my little girl. Um, do you look at it as still a small company? Because it's not. Well, you know, I guess we're too big to be small, but too small to be big. And uh, but it is still, uh, I own the business, yeah. so we don't have investors and uh, uh, a lot of shareholders and that kind of thing. So we're not a public company. Right. Uh, so relatively speaking, we're small compared to uh, some of the other uh, big companies out there. But uh, I think we're relevant, as relevant as a, uh, a lot of companies, and probably even more so. You know, I think we've uh, achieved uh, this kind of cool factor that uh, people love. They love being a monster, and monsters an attitude. And we permeate that through, you know, not only the uh, employees at Monster, but uh, elsewhere. You know, our work with, uh, you know, companies like Adidas and our partnerships with Lamborghini and other p folks. We're, we're going to announce something at C CES, which would be uh, phenomenal. But, uh, you know, it is really, we kind of act like a big company because we feel big, but I still think we're small. Well, it's interesting you talk about the monster attitude because just before we came on, Robin was saying that I have the monster attitude, that Be Terrific kind of has the monster attitude, the Terrifics do. Talk about the monster attitude because that made me very proud because to me it means that you know you do what you have to do to, to make things happen. You don't take no for an answer and you very much push through uh, no matter what and, and you do things differently. You don't look at it and go, okay, those are the rules and I'm going to follow those rules. You go, why are those the rules and how can I change them? Well, you know, being monstrous and having a monster attitude, you are a rule breaker. You know, because if you follow the lane that everybody else is in, you're going to be, you can't break out. Right. And I'm going to say all the great leaders, uh, the great inventors, uh, you know, the scientists, uh, you name it. It's because they did something that was totally different. Yeah, do you look at yourself as a great inventor, a great leader? Because you are. Uh, you, you were inducted into the CE Hall of Fame. And, you know, I know that, you know, you're very humble. But when you really talk about it, when you get down to it, you really changed the way this whole business works. You, you made people realize that audio is so important at multiple points. It's not just about your amplifier or your speakers. It's about the cables that connects them. It's not just about, you know, having great uh, quality music. You have to be able to hear them, and so you need speakers for your ears. And it's all that stuff. Do you look at yourself as this legendary guy? Uh, no. You know, one of the things I always tell my folks, don't believe your own bullshit, okay? Because people will make up stuff and say things about you. Uh, but part of being a monster is really being true to your own vision. Right, so I don't think I've achieved what I want to achieve. What do you want to achieve? Well, I want to achieve where I don't make mistakes, which I do all the time. I don't. Is that uh, possible though? Everybody's going to make mistakes. You know, but you learn right. from your mistakes. I mean, you are always a student. Okay, so uh, every mistake you learn, uh, that maybe you lost money or maybe it's a relationship, but you know what not to do. Sure. So I think over the years you kind of get to a maturity where you know you're uh, you're wiser right you're a wise man absolutely and uh, I, I think for monster attitude it is really about not afraid to take chances okay because here's what I always thought so when I uh, founded the company 37 years ago 
uh, and I broke up my secure living as an engineer at Lawrence Livermore Laboratory, went out and played music, came back and started this crazy company called Monster. You know, you just don't do things and be safe. Right. And uh, But you have to have a, a real strong conviction to do that because it's so hard, especially in the beginning. I mean, I know it, I'm an entrepreneur, and there are days when I go, wow, are we gonna make it another week? Are we gonna make yeah. it another day? We need an opportunity. You had to have those moments, didn't you? Oh, no. Oh. Very, uh, it's nerve wracking. It's, uh, you know, but you have to have confidence in yourself. It's kind of like, uh, you know, if you fall, cat with nine lives, you know, how a goat goes down a hill. So I trip here, but I pick myself up there. And you just have to feel confident, first of all, that it's going to happen and that you can recover from it. And, uh, you know, this must be, I want to finish my story uh, of what, uh, what my vision was. I said, you know, one day I'm going to be on my deathbed and I don't want to be thinking of myself, God, I wish I could have done that. And I had the opportunity to do it. I wish I could have done this. Uh, maybe I should have dated this person or, you know. Sure. But uh, if you don't try, you'll never do. And I think what I found out from being a real normal, geeky kind of person, that if you're too safe and you afraid to break out, you'll never accomplish anything. Right. And, but it's amazing on the other side, where you do break out, you do it, then you feel that you did accomplish something you, you didn't think you could. And you just need that opportunity. You just, yeah. and, and you got that with Pacific Sound when they finally listened and bought some cables and yes, tried it. Yes. And, and, and that's unbelievable. So what do you still want to accomplish? You, you, you want to not make mistakes, but what else? Well, you know, our passion is music. In fact, uh, <clears throat> We got two mantras. One is always lead, never follow. I don't want to follow something in technology, you know, like with the headphones. Sure. We did things that nobody did, uh, and it's for the music. Do you do you feel that you get enough credit for d designing uh, the, the speakers for your ears for saying, "Hey, this is what needs to be the next product"? Because, you know, there's I, I don't feel you do. Well, that's kind of a mishap, like oh, you know, and the reason why it happened. Uh, is because we were subordinate to the brand of the licensee of Beats. Right. So we made Beats and we designed every, I designed yeah. personally every product. And you said, originally, they, if I'm correct, they wanted to do a speaker or something. You said, no, we got to make speakers for the ears. It's going to be totally different and this is what needs to happen. Yeah, nobody listens to speakers, everybody listens to headphones. And you put it on their heads and you said, listen to this, and they went bananas. Yeah. And you well, designed it. It changed the industry. And you don't get enough credit for that. Well. Especially since uh, Beats got sold to Apple, yeah. you know they kind of disavowed any uh, legacy sure. uh, or uh, origin from Monster. So we understated our presence with Beats. Now we have to, you know, through uh, you know efforts like yours, really educate the the public that we are the audio guys. I am the engineer. I'm a yeah. trained engineer. Worked at Lawrence Livermore Laboratory, so I know how to do stuff. And when I design these, the yeah. new ones, you know, it's a different world. Okay, let's get into these. I have a bunch more questions, but let's get into some of these. They're amazing. We, we've been rocking the gold 24Ks. We had them at Comic-Con. I've been using them as my over-the-ear monitors. Uh, hear Greg to talk back, all that stuff. And uh, they're phenomenal. And then you've got a bunch of new products. Uh, I love the DNAs and the way they're designed and how they fit. Yeah. Um, I love these. Thank you. But walk me through these real quick. Well, uh, uh, first of all, this is the 24K you were talking about, and this is a rose gold version. So it's basically the same for the... Uh, Do you know my wife said to me last night, what? she said, did they make a rose gold version? That's what I want. <laughs> and she saw mine and was, was going to steal them, and I said, yeah. you cannot have them. And she said, well, get me a rose gold pair. And I said, I don't think they make a rose gold pair. What? You, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love rose gold because yeah. it's... Uh, it's, it's a sign of royalty, sophistication. That's where it came yeah. from. And, uh, well, that's why my wife wants it. Oh, yeah, I know. She's got good taste. She does have uh, good yeah, taste. Yeah, she's well, she's with me. Like, oh, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have rose gold. <laughs> right. Well, now I'm going to have to get okay, a pair. There you go. You bet. Right, I'll give you my credit card when we're done. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, cash only. No, no, but uh, first of all, there's no... Uh, thing has a perfect headphone. Everybody's got a different size head, uh, different preferences in music. And when I designed Beats, uh, nobody had been able to get 
strong bass like you hear in a club. Sure. Uh, uh, EDM, electronic uh, instruments. Absolutely. And we weren't the first to invent a headphone. Man, you got, uh, gosh, you got Bose, you got Sennheiser, you got Sony, you got a, a lot of great of companies. A lot of great companies, but they weren't reproducing today's music in that day, 78 years ago. So what I did was bring that deep, powerful, dynamic bass to headphones so or the musicians, when they put them on, went nuts. Light bulb looks yeah. true. I'm mean, hearing stuff that I hear in the studio, but I've never heard in headphones. So that was a, a, a revolution, and that uh, started all kinds of other competitors now just putting bass. But uh, you know, it's really not just about bass, it's about clarity, definition, vocals, well, string and instruments. So that's, these are tweaked for highs and mids, right? Yes, and yeah, you heard those. Yeah, these sound amazing. I was listening to the 80s on this, on, on Sirius Satellite Radio, because uh -huh. You know, I love the 80s and the music that comes out oh, of the yeah, 80s. Oh, yeah, yeah. I also love jazz. I love all, I really love all genres. People ask me what I like and I, I just have to say everything. Um, but these sound amazing. You will hear things in the music that you never even knew they were on the recording. So when you listen to your 80s, yeah. they, you know, it's, a, it's a different world. But let me show you what this is. So this is a uh, brand new, in fact, it's not even available in the States just yet, it's, it's up on our website. Sneak peek for you, terrific. Yeah, yeah, so uh, this is a line we designed for Cristiano Ronaldo. The best Ooh. soccer player in the world, yeah. most yeah, famous, you bet. You bet. most famous athlete in the world, I think. He is, uh, and uh, the reputation internationally is just amazing. Uh, the U.S. Uh, population will get to know him more because his movie just dropped uh, two days ago. Wow. Called, just called Ronaldo. Yeah. But he is... Uh, and he had that viral video on YouTube that you guys did with him, yeah. where he dresses up as a homeless guy, plays soccer, nobody cares, and then a kid starts playing with him and everybody starts realizing this guy can play. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And and now they want to pay attention. It was a great social experiment. Well, social that, yeah, he took off his beard and everything. Yeah. But, oh, that's Cristiano Ronaldo. But uh, if you don't, if your audience doesn't know him, he's uh, the uh, guy that every guy wants to be. Yeah. And, and this uh, is in, in Barcelona that this happens, right? Uh, it's in Madrid. Madrid, yeah, in Madrid, yeah, yeah. where he's this famous soccer player. Yeah, oh, uh, he's like... Uh, People were dying for his autograph afterwards. <laughs> before, I didn't want to know. It was a crazy video, and it went... Uh, uh, it was the fastest growing video in the history of the internet. It went, uh, you know... Uh, Amazing. A, a million in like 20 minutes. So these are the Ronaldo line and uh, these, these headphones. Yeah, well, let me tell you what I did with Ronaldo. Okay, so Ronaldo is a, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, James Bond-like. Okay, yeah. so he's handsome and he's bold. He's and got everything. Yeah, he's handsome. Yeah. He's a good athlete. Yeah, you, 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 I can't stand to look at him. That's just, <laughs> that's just envy, you know. Uh, but... Uh, the theme that we created is called Live Life Loud. It's right uh, position around. So this oh, is about bold. That. This is about monster attitude, really. So it's about taking chances and doing things to the best of your ability. I don't care what you do in life, okay? Just, you don't have to be Ronaldo, uh, but if you're a, a teacher, be the best teacher. That'd be the best, best teacher. That's monster I, attitude. I love that. That's I love monster that. Attitude. And I agree with it. I think it's, it's really awesome. Now, you give a lot of people opportunities. You're, you're, you, you had a, a really rough upbringing, uh, you know, hard life in the beginning. Yes, yes. Uh, you're a self-made man. Um, but you were given an opportunity at some point um, by you know, Pacific Sound because they bought, they, they bought into it, right? And they said, okay, we're gonna try this. That was an opportunity. I think you recognize that. You say, I've gotta bestow opportunities on other people. So you do a lot. First of all, you give away segues to injured vets, which I, first of all, on behalf of the Terrifics and those vets, thank you. I, I walk oh, around. Yeah. Oh, Veterans Day just happened. Yes. I walk around airports thanking veterans. I, I, I mean, because without them, we wouldn't sleep safely at night. They defend our freedom blindly. Well, and so I always thank them. I tell you, I've been a study on uh, veterans World War I and World War II and the Civil War. And lots of videos available on Netflix. And if you haven't seen them, you really got to look at the sacrifices, the D-Day sacrifices. It was just like, I, I can't even fathom that I'm, I could ever do this. I'm with you. Did, and you know? My grandfather was in World War II. My other grandfather was in World War II, Storm Normandy. Um, injured Purple Heart, uh, and, and I can't imagine, and they never talked about it. And then uh, I know this guy, Captain Ben Harrow, 
we've had him on. We grew up together, we played hockey together growing up, and he went to West Point, and he became a, 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 a Special wow. Forces captain. Stepped on an IED. Yep. Both, both legs gone, he's got this amazing story, and he's still going at it, and he defended our freedom. And look at what he sacrificed. Well, uh, that's so unfortunate uh, in the last Afghan war, because IUDs were uh, like, Everywhere. Yeah. Okay. And the, the the amount of men and women, and I'm talking about young men, young women. I mean, these are girls. Yep. They come back, and both legs are gone. Yeah. Right. And so, uh, and I don't want to take all the credit for secular vets. I'm, uh, I'm a, uh, a member with them, and I support them. But Jerry Kerr, who's a veteran, uh, he's also uh, doesn't have his legs. Uh, but the Segway, because I'm uh, handicapped, yep. I can't walk. You're always on the Segway, the uh, gold I, wheels. I, I, yeah, <laughs> the Segway, the gold. But I have to be because yep. the alternative is a wheelchair. Right. This is uh, a, a, lot, uh, a lot better than uh, a wheelchair is. But the mobility, it changed my life. You know, Dean came and the gentleman who invented the Segway, it's so intuitive. It's like I think about it, and I'm not quite like a person who has total mobility, but I feel a whole lot more mobile and it's changed my and it, life. It's wonderful. And then you're giving that to veterans who had that taken away. And that, this guy, Captain Ben Harrow, we've done a story on him, the yeah. Terrific Snome. And he, the, basically, his stumps were too short. And that's the technical term, stumps. And they said, you'll never walk again. He said, unacceptable. He said, unacceptable. He told the doctors, unacceptable. They said, uh -huh. well, we can't do anything. He said, break my legs like they do to girls in China to lengthen them. He did research. And they said, the most we've ever gotten is two and a quarter. We're not doing it to you. We don't do it. He said, do it. And he found some guy in Minnesota to do it. He got six and a quarter. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records. Six and a quarter on oh, each stump. Man. And he's got prosthetics. Oh, amazing. And he's, he's amazing. a dad. And he motivationally speaks. And he does all sorts of stuff. He plays sled hockey now. He takes his hockey bag, puts it in his car, in his Suburban. Well, is that right? How well, I, uh, you know, I want to introduce you to Blake Leeper. He's the uh, Blade That's, Runner. Yes. OK, uh, and he's going to be competing in the Olympics. So he's the... Uh, I would love old, to meet him, and we'd love to have him on Be Terrific. Oh, yeah, because I want to do a video with him and uh, Stevie Wonder. So the three of us are going to talk about overcoming handicap. I love it. Where you can't let the handicap get you down for what you can accomplish. I love that. You got Stevie in music. Uh, you got uh, uh, Blake Leeper in sports, and you got me in business. And, and you just keep going. You don't let anything stop you. That's so important. You just keep going. Um, you also take good care of your employees. You really do. Um, you got a lot of single moms who work for you. You got a lot of single dads. You got all sorts of yeah. things, and you make sure everybody's okay. That's really important. You could just rule the roost and clamp down and not care about them and just say, work, 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 work. Give me the best. But you realize they're giving you their best, and you give back to them. Well, you know where I'm particularly proud of, and you know, and it's business and. and uh, I, I have to be in full disclosure. We had to lay off a lot of people when we lost the Beats business, yeah. and so I would want to build that back, and that really broke my heart. Sure, but did. the people that uh, I have now uh, are—they're they're so monstrous, okay? And they're willing to—you know—they're going to work their butts off to build the company back to where it was and beyond. And uh, but the real thing that I enjoy these days is uh, learning and teaching. Okay, because I'm a student, I'm learning every day. I study stuff, you know, I, I don't think I know everything about headphones or mechanics or uh, how to run a business, so I'm always studying. But when somebody comes to me with a problem and they didn't do it quite the way I wanted to do, I always uh, look at it as teachers. And I'll take the time so they learn. And uh, the people who come, if you talk to any monsters, they'll say, you know, the, the years I spent with monsters were the best learning experiences of my life. And, and I've seen it firsthand, it's pretty amazing. Um, I, I just love that you give back, it's so important. Uh, and, and that you look out for your people and you teach them. You, you, you want them to learn, you want to learn from them. You want to learn, like you said before, you want to learn from the mistakes. The mistakes happen, let's learn from them. And, and I think that that's great. This is, uh, I saw this last night and I was just blown away by this product. <laughs> this is, what, five, six thousand dollars worth of DJ equipment legitimately in this device for about 500 bucks and it's a, a full DJ rig. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. This thing, uh, uh, you got, it's a dual turntable. It's a combination of analog and digital. So, uh, you know, you really gotta have buttons. 
you know, to, to DJ. interact yeah. with it, right? So uh, you got a full sequencer, you got a full uh, uh, MIDI machine, uh, you got effects, I mean, just the whole thing. But the, what I really like about it is, you know, kids today are raised on game controllers. So and we've got some DJs who are kids, and they're like going like crazy. Wow. With dexterity, I can never do. But I, 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 I get it right now as yeah, you say yeah, that. I'm like, wow, it. that's perfect. But it allows a DJ to uh, sit in with other DJs because it's uh, got uh, hard drives and it's a high res uh, recorder and uh, sequencer. But, uh, you know, you can put this in your pocket. You go to a gig, Just take you want to plug in, there you go. That's or you can DJ, uh, uh, he can come out from behind the console and go out into the crowd and start doing that's pretty thing. cool yeah so this is uh, you know it's a relatively new product okay but uh, you know you can uh, see with uh, people who are gonna learn how to do this really well uh, we've got some amazing DJs uh, you know uh, using this thing right now it's a game changer yeah it, it absolutely is I think that's what you focus on game changing products always always lead never follow there you go yeah. um, you know, there's a couple of products like the Pono um, and the uh, Ariel and Kearns. Yeah. Uh, they're really focused on higher quality music files. How much of that do you feel is legitimate and plays into it? And then on the flip side, they, they only really talk about the players. They don't talk about the headphones so or, or the speakers or the cables. Um, how how do, you, do you think that these devices are good? Are they worth getting? And do you need headphones like you I guess you need headphones like this because they'll tell you you could wear any headphones it makes no sense to me why would I take you up on this proposition that you're gonna give me a better audio file but it doesn't matter what headphones I wear well that's a, a really good point and uh, a um, high resolution file can only be as good as how it was recorded right and a lot of the transfers you get are from analog and so they have very limited dynamic range compared to today's recordings. But here's the fact of the matter, okay? Uh, people say MP3 files are horrible sounds. Well, what do they listen to them on? The little <laughs> white earbuds. I uh, said, so, well, duh. Okay, so it's gonna sound horrible no matter what kind of file you've got. And I disagree with the statement that you've got a high-res file with these he crappy headphones. It's gonna make the headphones sound bad. I mean, that's the, that's the end of the line. It right. can only sound as good as the headphones are. So until you've heard your MP3s with something like this, yeah. you've never heard the music. Yeah. I guarantee it. That when people put this headphone on, like you were, yeah. he says, holy... I'm now a streaming music. It's not <laughs> that streaming music isn't that great a quality, <laughs> and I was blown away. Yeah, and, that, and that's it. Then you go, it's like a high-definition TV. You know, a, uh, a VCR, then you had a DVD, and you go, oh my God. Okay, and then you got Blu-ray, and it's oh my God. Okay, so before you can get to a Blu-ray, you have to see what the sharpness is, what color is, and then now you got 1080p, you got 4K, uh, et cetera. So a high-res file is totally legitimate, but the differences uh, are at the sacrifice of disk space, uh, convenience, because you got to rip it, sure. and it takes longer to rip, and the differences are like the last 5%. Right. Yeah. So ninety really percent is here. So it's really for audio files. It's really that for are chasing. Uh, well, no, no, I wouldn't say that. It's uh, for music lovers. Right. So the difference between but a, you still need great headphones, and by the oh, way, the yeah. file has to be created right, right as you said, yeah. because if you go from an analog file from 30, 40 years ago, even ten years ago, it's not. It, it's it's going to be a difference. Well, first of all, if you got a, a forty year old tape, yeah. uh, it's deteriorated. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, you, you're not. And usually, a lot of times, they don't even use the original master. Sure. They use a safety. Right. So it uh, so it doesn't make sense. But I've got to tell you, this Go DJ. Yeah. It's one ninety two twenty four. It is high res. It's, wow. It's like a Pono player. Wow. And it will store all the files. I get that just to listen to my music. Yeah, you can. Oh uh, well, you know a lot of. Uh, the engineers, producers, they use it to, to uh, produce, no, no, to produce tracks on it. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's, it's like a the multi, new DAT. It's a multi track recorder. You remember how popular DAT was? They all had them in their cars yeah. and everywhere. It's like the new DAT. This well, is this amazing. is instant this access. Is a multi track recorder. Yeah. Wow. And it's 500 bucks? It's $500. like 499 That's amazing. Wow. Go DJ. Go DJ. Go DJ. Wow. But uh, in answer to your question on high res files, Sony's putting a lot of work into it. Uh, I think it's uh, great. Uh, 
that the record companies are also transferring a lot of their recordings to uh, you know 9624. Okay, so uh, uh, you know, which is great because that's a big uh, difference. And then 192 is a little bit smaller of a difference. But as you get a high resolution, this is like a 4K TV. Right. Once you see this, you start seeing stuff that, oh man, I never saw that before. You watch 4K on a HD TV, it's gonna down res and you'll see something, but it's not gonna be 4K with 4K. That's exactly right. So that's, uh, that's kind of the visual equivalent of what, high res. Tell me about these. Um, I, I really like the design of these. I like the shape, I like the way they fit. Yeah, tell me about the great. DNAs. Well, the DNAs were designed more as a professional uh, and uh, a mixed out thing because I, I love something that's really powerful, especially out of a, you know, out of an iPod or an iPhone. You know, you have very, very small voltages. Sure. And a lot of the problem was people were using uh, headphone amplifiers. So now you got to carry the headphone amplifier along the, the headphone, yeah. and you couldn't get the sound uh, that you wanted. So with the DNAs and uh, also the 24Ks, you know, I wanted to come out. This is my first product after Beats. Yeah. I wanted to have something that wasn't round, wasn't oval. That was a distinctive shape, but had the dynamic range of real music. And so uh, uh, I put in the technology called Pure Monster Sound. And uh, here's the equivalent. With uh, Beats and Dre, I said, you want to reproduce what the recording engineers and producers hear. Right. So you sit back and they do the mixing. Uh, you can reproduce all those frequencies. Well, with DNA, I want to reproduce what the microphone hears. So you got a microphone right here. It's that closer to the music. I like it. So it's that intimacy that you, you know, just can't get from any other experience. That's where you can. I mean, I love that because that's where you can hear, like, you hear Muddy Waters and you hear him licking his lips. And you, exactly yeah. right. Or you hear the frets, or you hear him squeaking it on the chair, or you hear the ambiance of the place that it was recorded. Right. And I'm a big jazz guy, and when you start hearing. The clubs and a lot oh, of jazz. It's amazing. Like or, John Coltrane. Uh, yeah, yeah. When you hear the clubs, you know, well, Miles Davis at the Black oh, Hawk, you know, Miles Carnegie Hall, Hall, you know. So you get to hear the nuances of the performance, and it's uplifting. It's like yeah. trans transforming yourself back in time and, and being listen. There. Yeah, yeah. And being there. And, exactly. And to that end, I, we're really big into the the VR, the the uh, 360 video, the headsets, and and we're doing a lot of VR fo footage, 360 video. We love it. I think wow. it's the future. Uh, I think there are two things that are holding it back. One is that nobody's created a good headset that is reasonably priced that you can take with any phone and just use and, and have it mobile because it has to be. You don't want to be tied to a computer. And the other thing is it's, it's to get mass adoption on it. And it's not immersive. There's, there's nothing, you know, nobody's telling you you need these headphones or you need this to make it immersive. Are you guys going to work on... 360, but the immersive experience? Well, first of all, we've been uh, asked to, and uh, immersive experiences for uh, video and for audio yeah. is not only your field of vision, it's behind you, okay, and it's above you. So, this is a challenge you. audio wise, oh, especially yeah. because oh, yeah. when you turn your head in a concert or something, because I think this is going to be amazing for concerts. I can't go to the concert, you can't go to the concert. Together we could be there virtually. You could be in San Francisco, I can be in New Jersey, and we can we can go to the concert together. But if I'm at a concert, I turn my head this way, I look that way, I hear it differently. I look up, I hear it differently. Well, right now, all I'm doing is seeing it differently in the headset. Well, you know, the uh, VR part of that is not being in the seat at the concert, is being on the podium on the stage where the conductor is yeah. being in the middle of the band you know i'm a drummer yeah i'm the middle you're a drummer of band. i always yeah, wanted yeah, to be yeah, a drummer yeah. i took drumming in school oh, yeah. i'm so oh, bad so that's the most incredible experience because you're always in the middle of the band do you still drum no i don't anymore because of my walking deficit but it was the best time of my life wow. I tell you. but uh you know being in the middle of that that's what people can't experience right you're never on the podium with uh michael uh thomas and conducting yeah. and hearing, or Bernstein hearing what they hear, well, that is incredible. Or being sitting with Phil Collins, or or, yeah. or, or yeah. sitting with, uh, or Tommy Lee, right? Exactly right. How about being on that roller coaster when he, when he flies his drum kit around? That was insane. So what do you have to do audio-wise, and you get, you get working on it, I guess. Well, first of all, it's, uh, it's all mathematics. Yeah. It's uh, algorithms. 
Uh, and we're get, we're close to it, yeah. but we're, we're not there. Uh, in fact, uh, my uh, algorithm is a globe, it's okay. a sphere. It's not left, right, stereo or sure. you know your field of vision. It has to be up and it has to be down because your sense of space in sound is reflective and direct, right? So it bounces up this way. I can hear we're in a big place, when I'm, uh, or you're in a church and you're not in your living room. Right. Okay, so uh, you gotta to really feel and transport the video, uh, the uh, visual to your audio. They're linked. Right. Okay, so yeah, your mind doesn't separate what your eyes see from what your ears hear. Okay, that's the whole experience. So the VR part and the sound part, uh, you know, I think we're not ready there yet. Uh, we're not even there for the uh, video yet. Right. So. It, it's, but it's, I guess it's, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. And it, it's it coming. also has to be recorded differently, audio-wise. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, uh, you, you're always going to have this uh, legacy. Uh, how do you make two channels sound like surround? <laughs> and how do you get height? And how do you get, you know? It's, it's so, interesting. Yeah. Uh, this is, I know this is one of your favorite new products, and mine as well, because it's waterproof. We did the test uh, last time where we put it in a pool and, and, and showed everybody. Um, and attached to it is it's being charged by, this is, I think, called the credit card. Is that, is uh, that correct? It's called the power card. The power card. And, uh, you know, there's a category of product that we make uh, that is something everybody wants. and. Uh, for um, uh, holidays that nobody wants to return. Okay, so this is a credit card size charger. Now there are a lot of chargers out there, yeah. but none of them have the thinness or the smallest of credit cards. This is cards. amazing. So you can put that, this is the big one. This yeah. is the turbo. How, how many uh, milliamps, 3,300? 3, wow. Yeah, it's not the uh, number of milliamps. It's not. That, that's complete falsehood. It's how fast you dump the milliamps. So when your phone is out, you don't want to be waiting for it to charge, okay? And uh, a lot of chargers are really slow. Right. This will get you up and running in 30 seconds. Wow, that's really awesome. And and the thing is, um, you're right. I learned a lot about battery technology. I, we just did the FAA convention, oh, and, okay. and they want to run, you know, as backup off batteries. And so it's about not wasting the energy. Part of that is delivering it fast and also uh, being able to store the most amount. So yeah. You're, yeah, when you hold one of this, when, yeah. it's, when it's working, it heats up. I mean, it gets, gets actually yeah. hot. It's not dangerous, right. but it's hot. That's how much power it's, awesome. it's driving into uh, whatever you're charging. And this is the 24K version of the oh, backflow. This is bling. This is a lot yeah. of bling. Here. I like that. Maybe it's too blingy for you. I don't know. It might be a little too blingy for me, but I like it oh, though. I'll make a rose gold one for your wife. <laughs> yeah, that. That's awesome. But this is a, uh, uh, this is the back float, uh, and it does what, exactly what the name says. It floats, and yeah. so you can use it in the shower, a hot tub. Speakerphone, and also great music. Yeah, you know, all my uh, my guys, they tell me, they admit now that they take their conference calls on this <laughs> in the shower. Yeah. I want to try that. I really do. <laughs> but is, yeah, but this is kind of the lifestyle play. You, yeah. know, you can see where uh, now uh, it becomes kind of a lifestyle. So this is fashion. very limited. Yeah. And uh, it's only for uh, uh, you know very few people, so it's it's going to be kind of scarce. It's very cool, very cool. This is the Adidas line. Um, talk about this. This has got to be an amazing partnership. Oh yeah. Well, the uh, you know Adidas came to us when they wanted to get into the headphone business because just like shoes, glasses, uh, you know, belts, uh, you know. The pants, the three, the three stripe sure. on the shoes. So it's a very much a uh, lifestyle play. It's a fashion play. So after we did Beats, there's a, a whole feeling that headphones are part of that look. So just like you have your cap. Yep. Okay, you have it's your fashion. Yeah. It's a, so uh, uh, we worked with Adidas to create a really incredible product. I mean, this is it's so light. And it's got the uh, uh, the three stripe the brand. Stripes. It's great for athletes. For oh yeah, getting ready on the field, oh, getting into the zone. Oh yeah, it's, uh, I, I love getting. And into it's the reasonably zone. priced. It's two hundred and fifty dollars. So it's not nice. like it's a lot of money. Right. But uh, and we're proud to you know be part of the Adidas family That's because uh, these guys uh, you know really have a great reputation. Great company. Oh, it's a great company. And you know what uh, is really uh, uh, I just learned this. Get really cool about them. They're the lifestyle brand for DJs. Really? 
I didn't know that. We sh we showed this at uh, Tomorrowland. Yeah. You know the big DJ festival. Sure. And they went berserk. Really? Crazy. Wow. Yeah, because uh, I, I guess Adidas, because of Run D N C. Yeah. At, uh, you know. Uh, in sure. the old days, so they become the lifestyle brand. Because he had the blue, the red, white, and blue Adidas, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we have a red, white, and blue uh, Adidas cool. info. No, uh, and uh, a lot of the DJs want that one, yeah. right? So, uh, no, this is crazy. So yeah. this is where uh, it's the opposite of this. Okay, so right. Uh, if if you're that's loud, blingy, and, yeah. You know, okay. And this but, is uh, this more, is understated, more sporty. Yeah. Has sport casual, you know, that kind of thing. So. I love it. You got the whole line of everything, something for everyone, uh, all sorts of great stuff. And then you've got the Bluetooth. Uh, you've got these oh, Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're amazing. Well, this is the sport headphone. This yeah. is the Ronaldo one. It's called yeah. Rock. Okay. All of the uh, uh, Ronaldo line is called Rock, R O C. Uh, you can get it on our website. We're not going to release it in the States until uh, after it hits Europe. Okay. So uh, it's uh, currently in Europe. And so this is a, uh, a wireless one also. This oh, is a wow. wireless on-ear. And uh, I can't uh, it's, wait for these. it's for working out. Okay, yeah. the sound on those, our mantra is uh, wireless that sounds as good as wired. Wow. So uh, uh, I, I can't you wait got, for You got to try these out. Oh, I'm so into these. Yeah. I love wireless headphones. Yeah, but you can, you, can wear, uh, you can wash them if they get You can the, wash them? Yeah, yeah. But look, at, look at the cushions there. Oh, wow. Okay. So if you sweat so you them, just for working out. Yeah. Okay. What I love about wireless headphones, I travel a lot. You get on the plane, you get tangled in all these cords and everything. Get up to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. The cord hits the tray table, the seat belt, everything. Oh, yeah, this look, I got your little controller here. Track up, track down, volume wow. up, volume down. Very, very easy to use. It's really lightweight yeah. compared to... Oh, uh, I can't we, wait. Uh, these, the, are, these are coming out. They're not out uh, yet. The, those are not out yet, but they're, uh, they'll be coming out. That's awesome. They're, they're available on a pre-order on our website, wow. though. Very Monsterproducts cool. Monsterproducts.com. Monsterproducts.com. Yeah. It's, it's the best site in the whole world. But take a look at this. This is super wow. blingy. This is the wow. uh, thinnest um, Bluetooth headphone in the world. It's called Super Slim. Wow. And the reason why it's slim and for most Bluetooth headphones, including our own, our other ones, uh, are longer, okay, mm -hmm. because the batteries are cylindrical. So what I did with this one, mm -hmm. I took all of the circuitry and I put it on a circuit board, folded it in half, and stuck the battery in the middle. Wow. Okay, so you can use the, uh, this for helmets, for goggles, okay, so it doesn't stick out, and it's not oh, uncomfortable. It's but, you know, you put these on, you forget you have them on. Wow, these are cool. These are very cool. Yeah, and uh, the, the little clip we got yeah. there is uh, patented, and we're able to, uh, you know, it, it won't fall out of your... Wow, look at this. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Yeah. I like this a lot. No, all this stuff is so amazing, but I think what's most amazing is what you've done to change the business and what you do to give back. And you have such a wonderful team around you. I mean, Robin Lee is unbelievable. You've got Sarah, who does an amazing job. And I finally met your executive assistant, who was just one of the nicest oh, people in the whole yes. world and does such well, a absolutely. great job. Well, I'm so lucky. I you am are really, lucky. I'm really lucky. How do you put together such a good team? Well, you know, that uh, uh, I'm not going to say a monster is an easy place to work. Yeah. Because if you're not a monster, you don't have the attitude to keep up with me. Right. It's not for you. It's not for okay, you. So it's if you're looking enough. for, you know, eight to five, work-life balance. Eight to you five, know. you're already an hour <laughs> over. Most people will go, wait, it's nine to five. Hey, look at So there you go. Everybody works so hard and so diligent and so passionately yeah. because they love what we're doing. Well, you, and if you love your work, it's not working. It's not working. Work. Yeah, you, so. you have amazing products, great products, but you're such a great guy and it's such a great thank company you. and, and you're a legend. Congratulations again on, on the CE. Thank Hall you so much. I mean, that's no, such a much great appreciated. Honor. It is a, it is on. I'm humbled by it. What do you do you pinch yourself when you wake up and you say, Wow, every day this is amazing? Uh, you know, because you couldn't have possibly dreamed it would be this big when you started. You just wanted to get out of that garage, didn't you? Well, before that, okay, you gotta realize uh, I'm a son of uh, immigrant parents that came from China. Uh, I was conceived in China, born in America. My mom had, uh, my parents had, they couldn't even afford clothes for me. <laughs> and so they, like all Asian uh, parents, you know, be an engineer, be an accountant. <laughs> okay, well, I did that. I became an engineer and I had no idea of business, no idea of what the rest of the world's like. You know, what you do is uh, really glamorous. Had no concept of it. So it was when I became a musician 
and I started to learn that lifestyle and to be able to think freely that got me into this position where I'm pretty good in business. I'm pretty good at creating stuff. And, you know, and I got the engineering chops to get where I want to go. Music has given you everything, but um, it's amazing though. You're a self-made man and you've done it. I mean, you learned business. You learned what you had to learn along the way. Absolutely. And it's it's really did. amazing. We did. Well, you know, I want to be an inspiration to everybody who's watching who ever felt that they wanted to do something that they really can. Okay, but you got to go try it. And uh, I'm also going to reach out to any uh, 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 immigrants that came over and started hard that you can make it. And I'm not the only example of that. There's a, a whole bunch of people who fall in that category, but a lot of people are afraid to take a chance. But right? you're an excellent example, and you weren't afraid to take a chance. And I got to tell you, you're 100% right. You are an inspiration, and it's a great thing to be. And you inspire me, and I know you inspire the Terrifics. And that's what we're about. Is be it, terrific. Be terrific. We're about engaging the audience and inspiring them. And Look, so and I don't you. want to forget the uh, veterans or uh, the handicapped people of the world that uh, don't have it as fortunate. I know how bad that can be. It can be bad. I mean, you you look at people, they, they're dejected when you have an amputee. I mean, it's like just takes all the will to be you able to do You gotta fight through. You gotta fight through. It makes it doubly difficult, quadruply difficult. But you gotta, you know, Stevie can't see, but he's playing. Okay. And uh, Blake Leeper doesn't have legs, but he can be one of the fastest men on blades. Yep. Okay, so it's overcome your uh, handicaps. And if you're not handicapped, well, then you got no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's no way. Look right. forward to having you on at CES and okay. doing a lot more. Thank you so right, much. Good. You are the Trivics. That was a special edition of the Michael Arts Show. Thank you, Noel. Thank you guys for your time. You make me terrific special. Until next time, I'm Michael Arts for everybody who works so diligently behind the scenes at Be Terrific. Thank you for watching and thank them for working so hard. And he's terrific. Thank you. <laughs> Be terrific.